A good show car is easy to spot. The details have to be perfect, the theme has to be clear, and the love of the owner has to shine through. But today, Dave for Shave tells us why his 1955 Bel Air show car is the best around. He actually races it. and I'm here today with Dave and Sandy Vershave from Tenley, Illinois, and we are at the Tri-5 Nationals in Kentucky. So Dave, tell me a little bit about the crate. Well, it's a, uh, it's a pump gas race car, street car that I built uh, over the last six years. I've owned it for 19 years. Um, it's got a pump gas 496 with a Jericho four-speed. I got to see you race yesterday. That was a really cool experience. How, what does it feel like to race? It's, uh, it's an incredible feeling. I've always been more of a show car type of guy uh, since building this car. I've been become more of a racer, and uh, I'm probably a 75% racer now that I am a show car guy, but I like it all. It, it's a well-detailed car that I show and race. So Sandy, when he races, do you get nervous for him? Are you cheering oh, him on? I am cheering him on. It's so exciting to see how that car goes so fast. And did you have any part in restoring this car, or you just uh, been there for him? A lot of kind support, of, yeah. Uh -huh. I could help him a little bit, but a lot of support. Uh, really exciting to do. So the show quality comes through with all these beautiful features you have on the car. Uh, would you say this is more of a show car or more of a race car? It's an equal show car, race car. Tell me a little bit about the interior. Uh, the interior is a, uh, it's, it's a traditional interior that I have a, a Schwinn bicycle theme, the orange crate theme. The door panels are out of aluminum. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Most gasters inherently have aluminum interiors, but I didn't want the, you know, the cold steel look, so I airbrushed them to look like authentic upholstery. Yeah, this doesn't look like your classic racer because it's just too gorgeous. I would not want to race this because I'd be like, okay, I, of course we don't ever want anything to happen, but right. it's like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to put a scratch on it, but you're out there using it, which is the best part. I, I probably have the, the ability to use it more than maybe some guys because this is what I do. Mm -hmm. So I can repair it if I hurt it and I don't hold back. I give it all. So tell me about the build process. I've had the car. car for 19 years. Uh, I've been working on it. It took me six years, my son and I, ABS Fabrication, to build it. Oh, so um, it's a family build. That's oh, yeah. really neat. Yeah, yeah. It's been a family affair, but uh, a lot of labor, a lot of hours. So the car right now looks pretty complete, and uh, as it is, do you have any future plans to restore or put anything new on it? Um, it doesn't need any restore restorations. It just needs to be standing on the back bumper. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite memory with the orange crate? So I've had it for so long, I guess it's... it's the memories are endless, you know. It's something that we've had for in our lives for a long time and uh, it's going to be here for a long time. So I see you got the Cratesicle here. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, the Cratesicle is a, uh, a bike that I wanted when I was a young guy, a uh, young kid, and uh, mom and dad couldn't afford it at the bike, so uh, I built my own to kind of mimic my, my Tri-5 here. Thank you, Sandy and Dave for Shave for telling me today about the Orange Crate, some different cool stories, and we will see you all later. Thank you for watching.